Along with boys lacrosse, the boys volleyball season is about to get underway and the Lehigh Valley Conference figures to be as competitive as ever. One team that will certainly be in the mix is Whitehall, as head coach George Cowich has made the Zephyrs a perennial contender. Mike Brusco has more. Since George Cowich took over the Whitehall boys volleyball program back in 2007, the Zephyrs have been a force to be reckoned with in the area. In the last seven seasons, get this, the team has qualified for the District 11 tournament six times, the Lehigh Valley Conference playoffs four times, produced nine all-conference players, one league MVP, and two two-time all-state players. Yet, even with all that success, Cowich is as encouraged as ever about this year's squad, despite losing eight seniors from last year's team. It has to be one of our best preseasons we had you know, since I've been here in, in eight seasons. Uh, guys, hard workers. Uh, we had two scrimmages at free, against at Freedom. Uh, we looked really good in those two scrimmages, which we don't traditionally do. So it, it makes us feel good about where we're at right now. We bring back uh, Tony Hanna, who was an all-conference setter. Uh, we graduated eight guys, you know, eight guys that contributed to that team last year. So we're looking to fill in the pieces. Uh, but the good thing is we had guys waiting in the wings where other years it was more of a rebuild now It's just a reload so far. We're young. Everybody's working hard. Uh, everybody's getting there They just got to listen. They just nobody really played varsity before so everybody graduated from last year So they're just working so far getting there. We're more rounded this year when it comes uh, comes to the offense uh, You know traditionally our defense is is always very good and and it is again this year But we're, you know we're looking at an offense where we don't have just one big hitter We have a couple guys where we could spread the offense out this year. We got the mental toughness in us uh, they're not all physically there, but mentally they're there. They're on the court. We had very good passion, but they just got to talk more. They're not really talking a lot. So if we work on that, we'll be fine. We always look forward to the Parkland match. You know, they're right next door to us, and that's something that we look forward to. Uh, you know, we don't circle anybody on our schedule. It's, it's, the league's tough. I think it's going to be very good this year. Uh, you know, Freedom, they're Thampton. You know, they're very good. It, it, here, Easton is, is much improved from last year. So it's not going to be, you know, four teams that, like it used to be. It's going to be, you know, uh, more equality than it has. Set a couple goals. Uh, usually want to just work on these guys, focus on their uh, personal goals, and hopefully go to districts from there. But start low. I can't sit here and say we haven't set our goals, you know, what we want to do. Uh, you know, this team is good enough, you know, in my opinion, to, to make a deep run into the playoffs. And, um, you know, traditionally we, we always get hot when it, when it counts. And, and, you know, that's what I like about these guys. These guys are hungry. You know, they, they know what they need to do, and, and I'm, I'm happy about that. The Zephyrs have been to the District 11 championship match three times in the last four years, including a lone championship back in 2010. However, one thing they will look to do this year for the first time in school history is make an appearance in the LVC finals. On the scene at Whitehall High School, Mike Brusco, 2 Sports.